In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can build an AI chatbot for your WordPress website for completely free. So I want to guide you completely through the process of uh, setting up the chatbot and then integrate the chatbot into your WordPress website. So we are using here an, um, a service and a chat GPT a function that enables us to um, yeah, completely automize uh, the chatbot function on our website. So if, for, for example, a customer comes to our website, have any questions about our services and then or even our pricings, and then the chatbot uh, knows exactly what they can answer them or what uh, he should answer them. And uh, yeah, this is what I want to show you exactly in this step by step tutorial. So hi, my name is Tim. Welcome back to my channel or welcome back to well, welcome to the channel. Yeah, like I said, uh, in today's video, I want to guide you through the process of setting up these uh, chatbots, AI chatbots. Um, yeah, they are really cool and um, yeah, they know um, everything and they can almost do everything for you. So you don't uh, no longer need to have connected your your phone with your website and install uh, a chat plugin on your on your phone to to answer all your your clients um, that have any questions. So you can leave it everything to um, the AI chatbot and this is really cool and this is what I want to show you in this tutorial. So yeah, then um, let's jump right into it. So I am right now on my website. Uh, this is uh, yeah my website, my agency website and um, currently we don't have a chatbot integrated in the website. So yeah, we are doing um, web development, web design, SEO, uh, marketing and so on and so on. And yeah, we don't have a chatbot integrated right now and I want to show you how you can integrate this chatbot and yeah uh, then of course I want to leave the chatbot on the website for us so that uh, yeah potential clients can uh, ask the chatbot and not uh, uh, give us a call so let me show you real quick uh, the process is simply is, is uh, quite simply and straightforward so we are using a website for this I will put all the links um, to uh, in the video description that I use in this tutorial so you can check it out simply go to the video description there you find all the links um, that I'm using uh, in this video right now and so yeah now we are um, on the chatbot website and here you can see we can create a new chatbot enter a nice name to be able to identify uh, your bot easily then we give our our new chatbot a name um, Datacrypt support and now we have to enable um, or we have to make the bot public so that other people uh, potential website visitors can interact with our bot and this is um, yeah why we have to make the bot uh, public and then we click on let's go and yeah now um, we have created our bot for this uh, website and here you can see we have some different ways of course we have to give our bot some informations about the website the bot uh, has to know of course um, everything about our website our e-commerce store or whatever we want to um, connect the new bot with so um, yeah in this case the bot needs some information um, here you can see um, we can do this. We can enter a full website. We can enter specific uh, web pages. We can um, submit our sitemap. We can upload a PDF, a Word document, Excel, uh, even YouTube, Freshdesk, and so on and so forth. So here you can see also we can drag and drop some uh, documents like PDF and something like this. But for this, uh, yeah, we have our website here and then I will go here and copy the website name or the um, website address, paste it in here and then I will click on start. And now, yeah, it takes a little bit. So the bot uh, is, will now visit our website and the bot will crawl our website. Um, yeah, pull all the information the bot will so that the bot exactly knows what um, our website is all about, what our services are, what our pricings are on the website. And yeah, this takes a while. But uh, yeah, now the bot is already down done. But I think in the background, the bot still uh, continue to to crawl our website and um, yeah, um, get all the data and um, yeah, 
build a, da build a data, um, uh, yeah, build the complete data sheet for our website. So, and now we want to customize the bot uh, a little bit, the appearance and so on and so on. So, and here, um, oh yeah, here you can see further down, you can see um, the website that the bot has, um, yeah, uh, a visit on our website and the bot is uh, currently um, processing. Yeah, and then um, let's start uh, customizing our bot um, to then we have to go to uh, appear appearance. So and here you can see how the bot uh, currently looks like. Here you can see um, on the right side, um, I hope I am not in the way. I hope I'm not in the way, um, but on the right side, you can see uh, yeah, how our bot looks like. And here you can see um, appearance. You can customize the look, or look and feel of your chatbot interface here. The title, title to be shown in the chat window. So let's call it uh, support. And then um, welcome message. Um, yeah, how can I help you today? I think this is fine for me now. Um, of course, you, you can customize this if you want to have any um, special welcome messages or something, then you can uh, put it in here. But uh, I think this is good for now. And then let's go a little bit uh, further down here. Um, here you can see um, when you want to ask the the visitor directly any questions and you can put in the question here for example yeah what's your name what's your email address what's your phone number and so on then let's go a little bit further down here you can see um, the chatbot um, avatar and uh, the chatbot icon so uh, the, the avatar let me um, upload so yeah this is uh, the company logo and now um, this is our operator yeah uh, no I think I made it um, yeah vice versa so let me do it again so here is this and I want to have my logo down there. Uh, my microphone is a little bit in on, in the way here, so yeah, I will. I think I will um, uh, fix this later on. So this is not the perfect logo, but I will. Um, yeah, fix this later on. Um, yeah, and here we have um, also a few options. Um, chat window background color. We can set. This app um, is, is white currently. Um, the messages are blue. I think this is okay for now. And um, choose a sound. Uh, yeah, when you want to have a sound, maybe do this. We do this. And then I think we can click on save. Okay, great. Now that's it for um, the appearance of the chatbot. So then we can go um, when we are happy with this, then we can go to um, overview and we can go back to overview. And here you can see um, this is how our chatbot, chatbot looks like when it's on our website. Um, and here we can test our chatbot. So um, let's ask our chatbot a question. So for example, what kind of services do you offer for example let's press enter and let's see uh here you can see the chatbot is working and uh yeah this is uh, this is really great so um yeah um, at datacrypt we offer a we offer a range of uh, essential services designed to empower your digital success. Our services include web design, content marketing, SEO. Yeah, great. Um, and here you can see also how um, the, the processing of our website um, is right now. So it is, it is at 23%. So I think, yeah, the website is not fully indexed by the bot, but uh, yeah. 
uh, the website or the bot is only 70 minutes old and this I think takes a little bit. Uh, let me show you another cool thing. Um, when you go to, uh, ah, here, when you go to leads, there you can see um, later on when the chatbot asks uh, your potential customers for the name, for the email address, then all the leads will get displayed here. You know exactly um, who used the chatbot, uh, when was the chatbot used by, by your potential client or customer. And then you also have the email address and also you can see the chatbot history. So here you can see um, yeah, the country. Um, yeah, I'm in Germany right now and which uh, engine I have used. I have used uh, the GPT uh, 3.5 turbo, turbo engine. And then let's go to um, bu 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 Tune AI. Here you can see under Tune AI, you can choose the um, uh, the ChatGPT or the GPT uh, model you want to use. Um, uh, right now it is uh, 3.5 because when we want to use another um, chatbot model then yeah we have to upgrade the plan but i think um, yeah this is more than enough um, this is exactly what i want to have uh, and then here we can see the ai cre creativity you can um, make it uh, more creative or less creative and yeah this is um i think um also very important uh, AI instruction prompts give instruction here to tune the behavior of the bot so you can give specific instructions on how the bot uh, should behave and um, what questions the bot for example should not answer and yeah all the good stuff so then uh, you can simply explain how you want the bot to behave this, uh, this will uh, be used as a part of the prompt to the AI model. So, and for this, I, um, oh, I want to include something here. So, and this is what I want to include in the chatbot. Um, uh, I wrote here, you are a representative of DataCrypt web design and SEO company and uh, must answer all questions in a friendly and professional way using the supplied information. If you don't know the, uh, the right the right answer to the question say apologies i'm not sure about that please contact us via email or phone we'll be happy to help you so um yeah if for example somebody asks a question who was the first president of the united states uh yeah um the chatbot didn't know the answer to this question because the chatbot only um, knows what is on our specific website and um yeah it, when somebody for example answer this question or another related question to our business that um, the chatbot cannot answer with the provided data from our website, then the chatbot um, should um, yeah, give this answer that they should call us or email us. And I think this is good. Then let's click on save here. Okay, and um, yeah, there are so much more functions. Um, if you want to try this, then um, yeah, you can go through all the, the um, settings here. And if I show you all the settings, then the video would be one hour long. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here you can see, yeah, link, uh, you can link the, the web pages, uh, what we did um, before, then here you can provide some some text, uh, yeah, you can write some text and explain to the chatbot uh, what your service is, what you offer, uh, what your products are about are about and uh, so on and here's a QA. and a um, here you can include um, some some q and a some questions and answers um, regarding your products or service or your company and um, yeah then um, appearance um, i showed you before yeah and then i think we want to um, embed this uh, chatbot in our uh, in our WordPress website. And for this, we go to uh, embed and share. And here we have some options. So we um, can, we can, uh, for example, um, share this, um, uh, yeah, share this bot. We can uh, use a script or we can use an iframe. So if you, for example, if you have another website, for example, a Wix, a Squarespace or whatever, then you can use iframe to embed this bot. So this bot will also run on uh, other 
um, platforms, not only WordPress, but for now, I want to show you this for WordPress. And um, then we go to our WordPress websites, website, and then we go to plugins and um, add new plugin because we have to download a new plugin. And here we search for fast, fast bots. And yeah, here it is. So it's it's pretty new. It's one more one month old. So you can see yeah, uh, no rating yet, um, and only 100 plus active installation. But um, yeah, I risk it for the biscuit. Then I will click on install, and now we have to wait a few seconds. And okay, installation failed. Yeah, this is uh, a, st a stupid error on my website or some issue, but it's downloaded. There it is. And then I will enable auto update and I will activate the bot. Okay, and now we can um, see the bot under settings. And when we go, uh, yeah, under settings and then fast bots. Yeah, and so here you can see um, the instructions. Um, you have to embed the source URL and then um, the fastbot, fastbot uh, embed ID. So here you can see um, using the script. So we have to use uh, the script and uh, the script is divided in um, the URL and also in the bot ID. So this means, um, yeah, we have to, I don't know why they make it this way, but I think this is, is Anyway, if the, this is the right uh, thingy. Let me copy this here. Of course, I have to blur out the ID. Otherwise, you know my chatbot ID and this would be not so good. Um, let me paste it in here. And then the fastbot ID. Where's the fastbot ID? Here's the fastbot ID. I will paste it in here and then I will click on save changes. Okay, perfect. Now everything is embedded. Let me go back to the dashboard or let visit our um, let's visit the the homepage and let's click on refresh. And yeah, there's there is our new chatbot. Um, yeah, everything is good. Everything works. So yeah, now the chatbot um, knows uh, what what the last um, question board because I am uh, my IP is the same. So the, the chatbot knows what I wrote uh, the last time. This is why uh, the text is already in here. But if somebody new come to your website and ask a question, then um, of course, there's a blank page or uh, the yeah, the welcome, the welcome message. So and yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, yeah, um, if you want to test it out, the chatbot, I think um, this chatbot is really good. Um, you you can use the chatbot for free. And um, if you want to upgrade, maybe if you have a really large website or a really large um, e-commerce store uh, where you need, um, yeah, where you need to upgrade, then um, yeah, upgrade it. But um, I think if you have a normal website, a smaller website, then I think the free plan is more than enough. And yeah, play around with it. Maybe you like the chatbot, uh, maybe not, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I think this is a really great uh, chatbot for web WordPress and um, yeah, so I think that's it for the video. I will put all the links in the video description down below. If you have any questions, put it in the comments down below. And yeah, then um, if you learned something new, if, if you found the video informative, uh, then please press the thumbs up button on the video. And also I would appreciate if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yeah, so that's it then. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.